Okay, hello dear friends. So today I talk about uh, brushes and I got one friend asking me about some brush. One thing she asked um, about a brush that can go back to to its own shape when you, after you write. Usually Chinese painting brush um, does not go back to its shape. You always need to, to to blot, to to dab, 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 to to leak the brush. In Chinese, we call it a leak. It's like your tongue leak something. Okay, so for example, this one, you can see it does not have much good shape, right? But it's very, very pointed at the, at the tip. If you, if you see, um, uh, I dab into water and this one also this is um, a very humble brush um, a gold hair brush if you open it up you can see the outer edge are usually composed of did I damage it maybe I have damaged it or, or maybe it's a anyway <clears throat> maybe because uh, because I use something to and this is the you you I, I I I soak it for too long time in water. Anyway, when we see it, there are several different layers. The tip of this brush, the core of this brush, the most important part of this brush, is the tip, right? And the tip is our natural hair. You pull out one of your hair, you will see. The tip is very, very thin, and these are the root part, and they are uh, thicker. And this thicker part is not so silky as the tip, and the tip is so silky and so sharp. Oh, there is one coming out. I don't know if you can, you can see it. Maybe you can see it's a, yeah, at the at the end, it's very, very uh, thick, and on the tip, it's much thinner. So all of them composed together, it has this, uh, this pyramid shape, right? And also, intentionally, they put some uh, different level or different uh, grade of hair uh, to compose, to get a mixture of... Uh, of um, texture, absorbance, to make the best of everything. If only this thin hair, then it, it is too silky. Water goes into it, will be slippery and do not stay. And this kind of a bit rough hair, it gives the brush the strength, the, the mass, the strength, and also it absorbs more water. Do I make sense? And this is a difference from... Uh, uh, natural hair and nylon hair. Nylon hair, you can see each one is very thin. It's very, uh, not very thin. Uh, they also have this uh, pyramid shape, but uh, it's very silky. It's all nylon, so it does not take that much water. Our hair, our human hair, our animal hair, our uh, natural hair, it absorbs more water so very 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 inside there are some thicker here and strong it's more like the whisker of my cat <laughs> it's th thicker and it's more strength so make the brush that can stay actually if i i bounce this is a, a wolf here or it's actually weasel here it bounce but this one is gold here it bounces much less. And what bounces the best, of course, is nylon hair because, uh, yeah. But it just does not have that, that thinness and that natural, natural uh, welding, natural um, Chinese painting. That essence does not come out from this uh, nylon hair. Okay, I will try. And today I actually plan to introduce you this 
very thin and beautiful hair. And usually, especially now, the hair, you can, you can press it and then the glue will open up. And if you press it and still cannot press it, uh, cannot make any movement, there must be something wrong or something not right with the glue. A good glue is natural glue. I do not know what they made of, of starch or of uh, animal, uh, animal skin when you make uh, rou pi dong, this kind of skin. So it can be opened just like this. And uh, the traditional way tell us to soak in water, actually. I met the, the brush manufacturer. He told me that you can do it like this. So you can open it up. And now we take it. So it's very, very thin. And this one is wolf hair or weasel hair. Um, nowadays, I don't think we have that many wolf, real wolf. It's more like uh, the wolf level, that, uh, that level of strength, the silkiness and, uh, and strength. I better not to, not to dab on the paper. So you can, you can draw very, very very thin stroke. Okay, we will draw here. here. Here is the center. So you can see. I can draw very, very. So if you do a human face, Got it wrong. So even the eyebrow. See, it can be very, very thin. And if you press it really hard, it goes back to its shape. Why? Because it's a short. Right? It's short, so it's easy to go back to its shape. But when it is long, it's not so easy. So, <coughs> it will not be so easy to go back to its shape. Let's try this one. This one, the hair is a bit longer. And uh, the hair is twisted. Don't worry, because natural hair will go back to its shape. But if it is nylon, it will never go back to its shape. That's the difference. Okay, so after some time, you walk on it. It's like when you have a bad, bad haircut, you wash it the next day, it becomes better because it's natural hair, right? You can use some warm water to change a little bit. Sometimes when it is not easy to change it because uh, it has already changed shape, I will use some warm water. See, if I do this movement, it is not easy to come back to its original shape, right? It is not easy to come back to its original shape because the hair is long. And that's why you have a, a, a plate that you can you can dab, dab, dab on the edge. And that is the purpose of it. So this is a good brush. And this one, this one, because it's long, it's like high heel shoes. It's not easy to walk, right? You have very fancy, beautiful high heel shoes. Of course, you do not walk stable. And this one is short. It's more like a medium sized or a bit lower. So it's quite a comfortable lens and it's quite comfortable. It's just very good. I am sending you this one today. <laughs> and uh, let's see some of this large brush, relatively large, not exactly too large. 
and this is a small white cloud. I mostly do everything with this one. And the Chinese painting, Chinese people, um, the teacher usually asks students to buy this brush. Why? Because it's very versatile. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It is good for beginner. Why it is good beginner? Because there is there is a very uh, unique character. That unique character is that it is very tolerant. Whatever your skill level, it can work out wonder. A lot of uh, great artists just use this brush. And another very important thing, do not focus on brush. Put our emphasize on working our skill working our heart instead of working on the material so so you can see i write oh i didn't write it pretty let me try to write a bit better than this one ni So you can see from time to time, I change the angle of brush. Because when you write, the brush change a little bit. And instead of making everything to its original perfect shape, I use that already changed shape and work on the following stroke. And this one, your, 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 your spirit is consistent. You are not stopping something in the middle. You have the consistency of the stroke, of the brush, of your spirit. And it's a uniform and continuous, complete, uh, complete action process uh, yeah okay. see After some time, you want to get the consistency of your stroke. Then you get some water. There is not a fixed rule. When do you get? And the time you get define the particular style of the artist. So <clears throat> it's still, it changes shape. It does not come back completely and you want to use it, you want to take advantage of that change. And I have some longer brush. I oh, This one is opened, actually. It's already opened. Okay, let's use this one. And this one, it feels very, uh, it feels not easy to write because you write, you want to have your, um, your, your, this bone, rested and this is too long and it makes a lot of effort for your hand to to do this way it's very hard if you have a short one your hand does not need to to put so much effort on bending bending your hand this one is much easier to use okay so why beginner have beginner brush because it's easy on your hand and it's uh, it's um, it's versatile and it's uh, forgiving, tolerant, and can accept whatever kind of uh, of uh, of fun you have, whatever mistake you have. See if this kind it's long, but when in the movement your hand maybe shake. And it's not easy to manipulate. 
So this is why I have, I always introduce to people this beginner brush. It's not because it's cheap. Yes, it is cheap. It is cheap, it's less expensive, but there's nothing less inferior. There's nothing less superior. There's nothing less than any more expensive brush. It has its own merit. It has its own value. So <clears throat> I particularly want to introduce this brush to, to the fine painting artists um, if you do manga painting, I have, uh, I know one uh, manga uh, cartoon artist. I sent one of this brush. It is um, very very easy to use, and uh, one of the, one of the the most. It was every cent of it. It's one of the best money value uh, proposition. Thank you very much. Let's try this. Oh, oh, this one is a little bit dirty. So this, the nylon brush, it does not have that. It is too, see, whenever you write, this is a nylon brush, not Chinese painting brush. You can write Chinese painting with, and you can feel that the brush has too much fighting back, back with you. And this brush, you make good effort and you make a good transfer of energy and the, the brush understand you and come back with the right energy. It does not have that much resistance and this one has much more resistance if you buy a western watercolor brush of this uh, nylon brush even expensive one they uh, they just have too much of their own uh, uh, strength of it and this is uh, um, a western a watercolor painting brush see it is becoming too soft sable brush not sable brush it's becoming too soft and there is no this is what we this is what we use when apply color to wash it is good to wash but it does not have any strength it is not good for writing not so good for writing see it just it, it's yeah okay and uh, i hope this one this video explain you a little bit. The point is you get the right lens of the brush. Before we 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 um, before we control, we maintain, we master our hand, use the brush as something to help you to make your life easy. A very long brush, except you use wash, is not easy for writing. For writing, use half, uh, half inch until one inch. That is about the right. Thank you very much. I love you. I really do, 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 do.